Hey, I'm Bill Marion at Snowshoe, West Virginia, and this is A Nose for Life. Welcome to Vlogmas 2020. Can you believe that we've made it this far? I've really enjoyed live streaming for the past 20 days, all because of your participation. Remember, we're releasing videos and or live streaming all the way to Christmas Day. Now, if you're a subscriber and watch a lot of our videos, first, thank you, and we're so very grateful. But you're probably thinking, hey, Bill, are you so desperate for content that you're making duplicate videos? No, not at all. Not this time. And you're right. We've been to Snowshoe a few times on this channel and once this past spring. But the problem is that we were visiting during the wrong times of the year. If you really want to experience Snowshoe West Virginia, you have to visit when Snowshoe is at its very best, in the winter. Snowshoe comes alive and it's full of energy. You're just about guaranteed a white Christmas at Snowshoe. I haven't been skiing for 20 years, so I'm not an expert. To me, the slopes are captivating and mysterious. Yes, I said mysterious, but in a good way. The village is warm, welcoming, and very charming. This isn't a tourist trap pretending to be a ski resort. I'm not mentioning any names or anything, but you know who you are. Snowshoe is the real thing, and you can feel the energy. There's only one problem. I'm 47, and like I said, I haven't skied in over 20 years, and Carolyn's never been skiing. In this video, we're just tourists kind of showing you the scenery for now. Before we even get started, let me share something interesting. Carolyn has never had any interest in skiing, but while making this video, she changed her mind and we're going to start skiing in January because Carolyn said so. Seriously, that's the effect Snowshoe West Virginia has on people. You're gonna love this video. One of the things that I love about West Virginia is they actually have a serious winter. I like winter. I like seasons, all four of them. I don't like skipping a season. And you know what, West Virginia, they don't like skipping seasons either. They have some serious winter here. On the way over here to Snowshoe, the temperatures anywhere from 20 to 28 degrees, depending on the elevation. And on the way up here to Snowshoe right now, it's 26 degrees and dropping quickly as we climb up this mountain. Now they have salted the roads, but there's still a lot of slush on the road. And so we've locked in the four wheel drive, we're being safe and sharing this amazing video with you. Carolyn and I have been to Snowshoe, West Virginia several times. We've brought you two or three videos about Snowshoe, West Virginia, only that we've never been here when it's at its best, which is in the winter. This place is a winter wonderland. That means it's cold. In case you didn't know it, winter is cold, and it's very cold here. It's about 21, 22 degrees right now, windshield a lot lower than that, and guess what? This place is packed. I, I know it's 2020, I know all of the above, but I'm telling you, it's packed. This is a hip happening, hopping destination in the wintertime because it has some of the best skiing that you're going to get in the entire region. This place is amazing. It's so amazing. It's so happening right now that we're having a hard time even finding a place to park because people are here to do what you do at Snowshoe, which is photobomb people. when they're... No parking. I can't. I'm freezing. I don't have, <laughs> I don't have time for this. Here's some general information you'll find useful. Snowshoe Mountain is the name of the resort, not the name of the mountain, and it opened for business about 50 years ago. Located in the Allegheny Mountains, the western wall of the Greater Appalachian Mountains, Snowshoe is in the bowl-shaped convergence of Cheap Mountain and Back Allegheny Mountain. At 4,848 feet, Cheap Mountain's high point is called Thorny Flat.
There are 60 slopes and trails and many acres of backcountry. And did I mention you're in the middle of nowhere before you ever get to Snowshoe? It's considerably colder than anywhere else in the region due to its elevation and its location. The village at Snowshoe is located close to the summit of the mountain rather than its base. Close to a half a million skiers visit the slopes at Snowshoe every year. And trust me, that number is going to increase. This place is amazing. It's a perfect winter wonderland. Everywhere I go, I can't get away from this guy. Okay, I may have made a really bad mistake. People go to snowshoe to ski. I realize that might sound a little ridiculous. After all, it's a ski resort. But this is a real ski resort where people aren't craving just atmosphere. The slopes get all the attention. The village is great for shopping and food and all that kind of stuff, but what brings people from all over to the middle of the Monongahela National Forest is the skiing. In full disclosure, Carolyn and I stuck out like a sore thumb. We weren't dressed for the occasion. We were in jeans and a coat, and it was cold. We weren't prepared for snowshoe. Again, this isn't your average local tourist spot, and even though we stuck out, and not in a good way, I might add, we both loved it. Speaking of sore thumbs, I removed my glove to record the video you're watching right now. By the time I stopped recording, my hand was blue and I was in severe pain, and it's still sore just 24 hours later. I don't know how cold it was on that ridge, but this place is the real deal when it comes to winter sports. Let me clarify something. It's not that Carolyn and I weren't fashionable because we are always fashionable. It's that we were quite literally the only people in jeans. Literally. Everyone had on snowsuits because that's what you wear when you're at a real ski resort. Because it's cold. Okay, let me explain it this way for those of you who, like me, spent most of their life in the south where it seldom snows. Imagine you're down at Cocoa Beach and it's about 110 degrees and you see someone wearing blue jeans and a matching sweater with some loafers and they begin casually walking into the ocean about knee deep. It's not that you're judging them, but let's just face it, it's odd because it's hot and they're walking into the water fully clothed as if they're heading to the outback for some kangaroo meat. It's just sort of weird. And that's how Carolyn and I stuck out. It's, it's cold here. You're going to have winter weather here almost all the time in the winter. I'm sure there are certain times where things warm up and whatnot and it's unseasonable, but the norm here is what you're looking at right now. And so if you're from the deep south or from some place where you just don't get a whole lot of snow, this is a great place to be guaranteed winter weather. Don't come up here in blue jeans and a sweatshirt and a coat, cause you'll freeze. Like seriously, don't make that mistake. We did, and that was crazy. We'll never do that again. In fact, Carolyn is already shopping online to make sure that the whole family is fitted in ski attire. Thanks, Snowshoe, thanks a lot. Snowshoe really is amazing, and trust me, you'll be seeing this location on our channel again and in the winter. Maybe even this winter. We really enjoyed our visit. I left a link in the description if you're interested in visiting Snowshoe. Before we go, I want to introduce a future YouTube sensation by the name of Cece. With her mom's permission, she's going to help me close this video out. Hi guys! Click that, click that subscribe button. Click that notification. Give a huge thumbs up. Great job, Cece. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Bill Marion, and this is A Nose for Life. Hey, if you have time, check out some of these other videos.